Thank you very much for coming. I wanted to say a few introductory remarks about the theme uh, and what we're trying to achieve here. You're here because we rate you. This is invite only. Thank you for coming. The theme is climate synergies. And we've chosen this theme because I think we're at a moment now when <clears throat> the question isn't whether we have to do this transition to net zero. If you look at the public opinion surveys around the world, 80 to 90% of people in 20 countries, 40,000 respondents say, climate change is important, we've got to do it. Nor is it when we're going to do it. We're in the middle of it now, we've started. The question is how. And what governments are asking and businesses are asking all around the world is how do we do this in a way that meets the needs of our citizens, meets their expectations about cost and lifestyle and other um, dimensions of the things that they value without making the trade-offs too severe. Now, as an economist, we, we all love to focus on trade-offs. But today, we want to focus on synergies because in addressing the climate challenge, we can solve a bunch of other challenges if we do it properly, whether it's health, increased productivity, uh, lower air pollution, more jobs, more security, military security, energy security, economic security, and of course, more climate security, because we're at a point now when we're seeing the floods and the fires and the impacts are happening all around us. It's impossible to deny that we're in a mess at this point. But equally, and I won't go on for too long because you know the story, the progress on the technologies that we need to get us to net zero has been very, very striking. <clears throat> and it feels almost within, within our grasp. That, that's what I feel. And the IEA's report out this morning, which I'm sure some of you will have read, the update to their net zero emissions scenario, uses completely different language to the previous years, which is this could happen, this should happen, we should do this. It's now will. Now, there's, I don't know whether that confidence is going to be found to be misplaced or not, but it, the IA is very clear. This will happen. The tech is there. The costs will fall. The price of oil will fall to $42 a barrel because we will be replacing fossil fuels with other cleaner sources of energy. But at the same time, we're also seeing significant pushback to this agenda, not just in this country, although we have uh, in the last week, very obviously, uh, but all around the world. And I think uh, it's right, those who point to the need to ensure that we've got fairness, clarity, um, honesty in this kind of conversation about how we get to net zero are really on the mark, I think. And that's a, yet another reason why we need to be thinking about how we, terrible metaphor, but how we kill two birds or even more birds with one stone here. How we, who care about climate and environmental issues, can appeal to all the other ministries of government, all the other functions of the corporation uh, to get the job done. And you're here because we hope not just to have a talking shop, of course it is a talking shop, and talking is important because it's how you exchange ideas, and ideas change behaviour and that changes the world. But also to focus on the solutions today. We've allowed a lot of time to speak to one another in the breaks, reach out to people. If, you've, if you're interested in meeting someone, don't hesitate and they're how interesting to meet you too.